Dragonflight is the best expansion ever. Oh my god. I love this expansion. It's great. It's better than Shadowlands. Right, the amount of effort put into Dragonflight. It's the amount of effort I've put into getting ready this video. I've only just gotten out of bed. Um, gonna be, gonna be completely real with ya. Dragonflight ain't that great. I'm already bored, and I've almost got seven character at level seventy. Second character, um, probably by the end of week one, I might have three characters at level seventy. I already know multiple people with multiple level seventy characters because they've got nothing to do on their mains. Like, all there is to do is the Sojourner stuff, and um, you do that. It's just tedious questing. It's not really fun. It's not engaging content, you know. It's it's nothing like, I don't know, say, Torghast, where you had the solo instance, or you could do a group if you wanted to, if you were a pussy. But, um, you know, it's not engaging. Not engaging at all. It's just boring old questing, which really doesn't engage the mind. And the story, like, okay, okay, tell me this. Who the hell are the primalists? Now, Farian's little corruption scene, that's good and all. But didn't we previously define that he's got corrupted inside the cave where he was staying by the old gods whispering to him and that's when he unleashes corruption and finally fell for it so now we're just rewriting the story and on the topic of rewriting the story aspects getting their power back okay first of all the aspects lost their power to kill deathwing and the new age mortals Wait! but um now they're getting their powers back how, how do they get their powers back? Well, originally, Blizzard was like, Oh, there's an ancient Titan artifact relic disc in Alderman. They're going to get their powers back through there. So that's what we tried to get in pre-patch, and that didn't work at all. It was a big fail. Pretty miserable. Um, so now, apparently, completely disregarded the disc in all the storyline. I know because I've read the quest text. Completely disregarded it. And we've gone, ooh, there's some magic stones. Ooh, if we just go and fix the problems in our area, then these stones will light up and shoot a beam in the sky. Whoa. And when they're all together shooting beams in the sky, the dragons get their powers back. Yay. What a ridiculously awful plotline. Like, has anyone actually fall into this as to how unimaginative and boring and just going against any previously written story? Like, what, what's, what's the point of making big sacrifice? Like, at this point, we could just go up to the Sword of Sargeras and get our artifact power back and start one-shotting things again. Like, really? If... If permanent changes like this aren't actually permanent, then it really doesn't matter what we do. Like, what, what's, what's to say Deathwing doesn't just come back to life? Or we just see Ragnaros appear again? You know, stupid, stupid stuff like that. Is, is this really what we call the best expansion ever? Like, for real. I, I hear so many people giving this amazing praise, and... Let's be fair. Let's be fair. There are some really good features to it. I did like the experience of going through the story of how many cutscenes there were. It did make it feel really nice and cinematic and engaging. It's just a shame that the actual story writing was, um, as I say, as much effort as my outfit for this video. And my energy to make new jokes on different comments. But, uh, yeah. Cinematics were great and engaging. I quite liked it. Um... Also, Chromius Biss, more Chromie. Come on. And Raffian. Big up my G, Raffian. Spellion. He can suck a fat one. Dragon riding is awesome. I love it. It's sick. I can go everywhere. Just zoom about. I hate it for gathering. I seriously. I get really frustrated when doing my herbalism and mining and treasure hunting. Because you'll just see. You'll just see this one little herb at the top of this mountain. And you know what you do? go all around you go titan 
Oh, you ran out of vigor and you fall on the floor. So, yeah. But I must say, dragon races, really fun. I don't really like the dash ones, which doesn't tell you exactly where to go. But maybe that's because I'm a very simple human. But I I really love the fact that now I can do dragon racing world quests. Um, world PvP incentives are still a bit off. You know, Alliance still have their buff from BFA, so literally never fixed that. Demonology is still buggy as hell with soul shard generation upon entering combat, which really gets on my nerves. Actually, I've seen a new bug where sometimes Demon Bar only generates one shard, which is... Uh, it gets me absolutely fuming, I'll tell you that. It can completely deck my plans for my rotation, so... Yeah. But, yeah. Dragonflight's a good expansion. Don't get me wrong. So far, it's okay. It's okay. It's not great. It's not the best. I don't think... Yeah, of all the launches I've played, and... We're going to include Warlords of Draenor, Legion, Battle for Azeroth, and Shadowlands. Uh, this one's so far the worst. Like, genuinely. The story for all the previously listed expansions were much more... Well written, you know? No nothing really felt unbelievably stupid. Nothing felt... Just... Wacky as hell. Um... If you look at Shadowlands, for example, it actually felt quite fun doing the story for the first time. Like, a lot of you will be think thinking about Shadowlands as a whole as an expansion. Um, which is, to be honest, quite an unfair comparison, seeing as Dragonflight hasn't been out for the entire time. Like, if, if this was all of Dragonflight's content as an entire expansion, then, yeah, you could completely slander it and say, yeah, it's abysmal. But you, you, ca you can't you can't really call it the best or the worst expansion yet. You can say the start of it was oh, bad or good or whatever. But, like, seriously. You just need to calm down. You're going to get too hyped. Something you don't like is going to happen. And then all of a sudden, Dragonflight is going to feel ass. Let's be real. Let's be 100% real. Anyway, that's my two thoughts on the Dragonfly expansion. Um, probably don't give a toss. Just realised that there's probably wow sounds going in the background because, as I say, the effort put into this video has been designed to match the story writing of Dragonfly. Anyway, enjoy the expansion because there are some good features to it. Um, I hate Brackenhide. I hate Azure Vaults. I hate Hordes of Infusion. The other five are pretty nice dungeons, I'm not gonna lie. I'm very happy to run those. And, uh, yeah. Go hit your goals this season. Right, sweet one.